right? Going over free response question one from the 2013 practice exam, we have this shaded region bounded by the line y equals one minus x cubed and at the bottom y equals the sine of x squared. And part A asks for us to find the area of this. So for this, we're gonna set up our integral from zero up to here, their point of intersection. And we can use our graphing calculator and uh, we will find that this point over here is, is about 0.764972 comma 0.552352. Now, that means we're going to integrate from zero up to 0.764972. And we're gonna have the top function minus the bottom one. So it's gonna be one minus x cubed minus the sine of x squared. All that times dx. Using our calculator to figure this out, we're gonna get right about 0.533. 153375-ish. 0.5337564336369. All right, part B. The horizontal line Y equals K is drawn through the point where the graphs of Y equals one minus X cubed and Y equals the sine of X squared and intersect. Find K and determine whether this line divides R into two regions of equal area. Okay. Let's put back at our equation and let's draw a sketch. So it's probably, it's probably look at something like this then. Here's my R, point of intersection. Now, our K will be then going through here, a line like this. We found the K already, or we found the Y value there in the previous part, which is about 0 0.55, 0 0.55235. And then from there, we can just use this to solve and the rest of the problem. They wanna see if this region and this region are equal. So we really just define one of them because we already have the total area of R. And if it's not half of that thing, then it's not equal. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I always get numbers very close to each other. So Germany, we can, um, well, it's not Germany, but we can find you know, a similarity. Now, let's go ahead and just integrate this from zero to this point. And from there, we're going to also then subtract the, this line. So we're set up, we'll set up our integral for this top portion to be from zero to point seven seven or point seven six four nine seven two. And that'll be the one minus x cubed minus the 0.55235. And the other one will be from, again, from zero to that point as well, 0 0.764972, except it's gonna be this line minus the sine of x squared line. So this is, in this case, this is the farther one. 
And this, this is the sine of x squared. So we'll set it up like this, 0.55. Two three five minus the sine of x squared dx, and we'll get for this we'll get about point two. I got I got point two five six two point two five six eight two. And for this guy, we got point two. Was a little bit bigger. We got point that point two seven um point two seven six nine ish. So they are not equal. Does not divide that region in half. And the last part, find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the line Y equals negative three. Okay, so this is gonna be a good one. Maybe you can draw one more sketch. X, Y. We're going to revolve it about this line. Let's have let's put it over here. Y equals negative three. We're revolving it around here. Now remembering the now remembering the volume of a solid of a revolution, we have the volume is equal to pi times the large radius. Squared plus Or not well, not plus, but minus. I guess minus small radius, or and this pi is times everything minus the small mm -hmm. radius, little r of x squared. That's kind of the whole basic idea. We'll see. We'll be using with finding the solids, finding the volumes of the solids of revolution. So then, um, in this case, again, this is the one. This is the y equals the one minus x cubed. And this line is the y equals sine of x squared graphs. So the large radius is going from here to here. That's big R. Big R is going to be, big R of x is going to be the, this equation, one minus x cubed, Plus this length, it always stays as three. This will be our large radius, our, our large r of x. Our small r of x going from here just to the closer one only. So then in this case, we would have small r of x is just three plus the sine of x squared. And then we just set up our integral in total. The volume is gonna be pi times the integral from zero to the point. I, I, I can't calculate the change, but maybe you can. The 0 0.76. Four nine seven two, and then we're going to have the um, large R of X first. One minus X cubed plus three. Squared minus small R of X squared. Three plus sine of X squared. And then using tech calculator technology, let's see what we get. Okay. 
Oh, oops, I forgot about the x squared here. And I forgot the dx, and I want to, it's not, I should not forget those little details. In either case, though, 3.769 times pi will end up getting about 11.84. Zero seven two six 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 three eight. Oops. Now, um, for this, they they like work for these for like in general. Be organized though, and you know, just make sure you answer the question if they ask something in context. But that's it for that problem. So I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section and feedback is always welcome. Um, I know I can always improve, so let me know what I can do and make sure you subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.